welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Griselda so this video was supposed to be a first impressions on the new naked cherry collection by urban decay but unfortunately it's just gonna have to be a recreation of a look that I filmed my audio went to so I didn't notice it until I went to edit the video there was no audio and I wanted to recreate it because so many of you guys really liked it when I posted it on Insta Story and on Snapchat. So I just thought I'd recreate the look using the collection. I already know how the collection performs. I have to just do the recreation. So it's not gonna be a first impression, it's just gonna be a makeup tutorial using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry collection. Also in this video, I will be only using Urban Decay products. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified every single time I upload. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. Okay, so this is what the PR package looks like. We got a big cherry when we went to the Urban Decay launch party. I'm quickly gonna go over what the collection comes with. So we have your palette that looks like this. It's super cute. It's like your original naked palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Also, I forgot to mention that the palette does come with a brush, which I will be using mostly in this video. We have a highlight and blush palette that looks like this. It also comes with a Urban Decay cherry scented setting spray. I personally don't like the original setting spray because I don't like the scent. Not that I don't like the product, I don't like the scent, but I still use it because it definitely sets your makeup, it does its job. I just personally don't like the, the actual scent of the setting spray. But this one, it still has that smell, but very, very light. I smell mostly cherries, which is great for me because I'm very sensitive with my nose. It also comes with two eyeliners. These are the 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencils. And these are waterproof as well. So I really enjoy using these in my waterline, especially if I'm gonna have a long day and I don't want my eyeliner to run. These are great for that. Last but not least, we have two lipsticks. This one is called Cherry Cream. Looks like this. It's like a really nice, pretty cherry color. And then we have Juicy Metalized. It's a really peachy nude color. It also has a little bit of metallic specks on the lipsticks. It's gonna give you like a really pretty, glossy, metallic-y finish, which you guys will see in this video. I'm gonna start off by using their Urban Defense Complexion Primer. I love this because it has an SPF of 30. If you're gonna be out in the sun, you wanna make sure that you protect your skin. And the main reason why I absolutely love this primer is because it doesn't leave a white cast aside from it you know protecting your skin usually when primers have an SPF it usually leaves a white cast on the skin which can cause flashback when you take photos so I love that this one doesn't do that for foundation I'm gonna be using the all-nighter foundation this is waterproof long wear liquid foundation I've used this so many times I'm using the shade 8.0 I love that it is super long wearing it is very very matte and it's full coverage Moving on to concealer, I'm also gonna be using the All Nighter Concealer. With this concealer, I find that you have to work pretty quick. So what I like to do is I like to apply it on one side and then blend it out just because it does dry pretty quick and it's also super, super full coverage and it also dries down to a matte. I don't like to bake when I use this concealer because it tends to dry down my under eyes because it's already a matte concealer so what I like to do is I like to apply it blend it out and then lightly set it which you guys will see in a second and I'm using the shade medium light neutral it's a yellow base concealer so it helps to brighten underneath and typically I color correct first but because this foundation is so full coverage it automatically covers any pigmentation as well so I all I need to do is just brighten underneath the eyes so since we're not gonna bake the under eye I am going to set it very light using this all-nighter waterproof setting powder I'm just gonna pick up a fluffier brush and I'm just gonna slightly press that onto the under eye and I'm just going to focus that powder at the high points of my face because usually that's where I get the most oily as well so 
just gonna set that really quick so for bronzer we're gonna use this beach bronzer in the shade bronze we're just gonna apply that right underneath the cheekbones just gonna bronze the skin up So moving on to highlight and blush, we're gonna be using the Naked Cherry Palette. So we're just gonna pick up a little bit of that blush and just apply it to the apple of the cheeks. I really love how soft and subtle the blush is because I thought when I first applied it, it was gonna be like super intense and it actually isn't. So the palette comes with two highlights. This one is a little bit more frosty. It does come off a little bit more light. It does have a nice like violet iridescent undertone. And then we also have this one right here that it is a little bit more on the pinker side, you'll see. Sorry if you guys hear Jordan. You guys see how it's like a little bit more peachier? This one probably would be a little too light for me, but this one has a little bit more of a gold undertone, which complements my skin a little bit more. Jordan, I'm gonna need you to stop. We're just gonna pick up a little bit of that highlighter and then just apply that. I love how subtle it is. I feel like all of their highlighters are really subtle, like very everyday. I love how I say it's subtle and then I apply like 10 pounds of highlighter. And I'll just go back in with that same blush brush with no product. And then I just like to buff everything in. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden. I've actually used this for so many years, but I think it was the original, not the shade Eden. So first we're gonna set the primer with this color called Hotspot. It is a off-white eyeshadow. So we're just gonna press that in. This is just going to set the eye base and allow the eyeshadow to just to go on a lot more pigmented. And this step also helps so your eyeshadow doesn't stick to the eye base and then your eyeshadow turns out to be kind of muddy. So you always wanna make sure that you set your eye base. So like I mentioned, this is the brush that it comes with and I typically don't like to use the brushes that the palettes come out with because usually they're not good at all. The bristles are a little too stiff, they don't blend the eyeshadow, they make it worse. But I actually gave this brush a try and I actually really liked it. I loved how it just blends out the eyeshadow really well, it doesn't stick the product onto the eyelid, it actually blends it out. We are going to pick that brush up and start with this color called feels this one right here and we're just going to focus that on the crease so usually i always like to start with a lighter shade on my crease just to just give it a really nice transition especially if i am going to be using multiple colors so this brush is definitely a little bit firm but the bristles are very flexible so it does allow the eyeshadow to be distributed throughout the crease so that's the reason why i was like okay i can actually use this because typically you can't and that same brush that i use for to blend out the base i'm just going to go back in and just kind of buff everything out with any application, I always do this just so I can make sure that it is really nicely blended. So now we're gonna deepen the crease using Devilish with that same brush. So I'm trying to just keep that color right in the crease. I'm not trying to go too high up. And then I'm just gonna go in with that clean brush and just buff everything out. So this look is going to just be a blown out cherry makeup look because I want it to just look like it's diffused really smoothly on the eye but it's still going to be the same color family we're going to be using this 24 hour glide on eyeliner in the shade love drug and we are going to run that through the lid and this is going to be the base for the lid color and don't worry if it's not perfect because we're going to go back and blend that out you just make sure that you apply it all over the lid and I'm going above the crease as well picking up the other side of the brush which is more of a pencil brush we're just going to use that and just smudge out the edges so it blends into the crease color we're going to be using this color called young love and this is gonna go on top of the lid but before we apply it I'm gonna spray a little bit of fix plus just to intensify the shade 
and I'm using a pencil brush just so it can blend out the eyeshadow as I'm applying it look at that that's so pretty you can you don't have to wet it but because the colors are so similar I do want the lid color to stand out a little bit more so that's the reason why I wet the eyeshadow first before applying. To create that wing, we are going to be using the Razor Sharp Liquid Liner. And this is actually one of my favorite liquid liners because it lasts literally all day. And some liquid liners tend to flake and this one just doesn't do that. So, and it's super easy to apply. Now that we've got our eyeliner semi even because sometimes you just have to pray before you do that i'm gonna go ahead and coat my lashes with this troublemaker mascara and i actually have tried this mascara maybe like once or twice not really giving it a chance but this last time that i used it i really loved the brush it is actually really different in comparison to the other brushes that i've used i love the fact that it really doesn't have any bristles but they are really separated so i don't know if you can see them through here so that basically allows every single lash to get coated with the mascara I'm just gonna pop on some house of lashes so we're gonna use that same eyeliner that we used on the lid we're gonna run that in our waterline I also like to bring it right underneath the lash line and then we're gonna go ahead and smudge that out so picking up a little bit of this bang and then using that same brush, we're just going to run that through the bottom of our lash just to kind of set the eyeliner and just kind of diffuse the eyeshadow into the bottom of the lash line. So typically when I do a darker eyeshadow on my lid and smoke out the bottom of my eyes, what I like to do is I like to pick up a lighter shade. I'm going to be using this color right here called Hot Spot and I'm going to apply that in the inner corner of the eye and this is just going to give you a more brighter look and it definitely makes you look like you're awake. And I like to use a more muted eyeshadow nothing that has any shimmer because you already have so much going on so i'm just using a flat matte eyeshadow to give me that really nice illusion of like a brighter look so moving on to the lipsticks i'm gonna swatch both of them this one is the cherry cream which is a really pretty wine cherry color and then we have juicy metalized and this is a more cherry undertone kind of peachy nude lipstick see how pretty that is because i want this look to be a little bit more focused on the eyes so we're just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this juicy metalized lipstick i love how it gives you a overall already glossy lip i always like to top my lipsticks with a gloss but with this lipstick i don't need to do that last but not least we're going to set our whole entire makeup with this cherry scented all-nighter setting spray So it definitely has a cherry scent, but I can still smell that original scent that, that the regular set and spray has, which I don't mind um, as long as I like literally have to hold my breath when I use the all-nighter setting spray because I just don't like the way that it smells. Sorry, Urban Decay. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this recreation of my original youtube video um, unfortunately like i said my mic broke so i had to just redo it i did my best to recreate exactly what the look looked like when i actually filmed it let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and i will see you guys in my next video